Happy Monday from the Tiger Team. Check it out. Ashley, where'd you get that beautiful mask? I don't know. Where'd you get your mask? I don't know. <laughs> if you want a mask too, it's easy. All you have to do is work with us. <laughs> so we're over here in one of our luxury condos. And I was just talking to Ashley. We have a couple of offers that just came in on this property. Yes. <laughs> and we're talking about the difference in financing. And so a lot of people know what, what's the traditional amount for financing condos in South Florida? The traditional amount is 20%. Yeah. But, so, so you put 20% down, but, but, but the safer side is putting down 30%. So that way, the bank does a short term, short form questionnaire. Yes. <laughs> no, that's it. It's safer. <laughs> yeah. So as a listing agent, we always want to see 30 or even 35% down, especially on luxury condos. Why? And this building, although it's a brand new building, it doesn't have enough reserves right now to cover the requirement for most of the banks at a national level. So that's one issue. Second issue is they will always compare the percentage of renters to owners. That's another one. And a third one that comes up very often in Miami, whether it's a new building or an older building, is litigation. So if there's a lawsuit from an owner that got upset that, I didn't want to pay a special assessment. You guys voted on it, I did it, I don't want to pay it. So then they sue the HOA. Or the contractor for the pool does a bad job, so the HOA doesn't finish the payment. Guess what happens? They hire someone else, they pay that person, that first pool person, they want to get paid, especially in Florida because the state protects them. So they sue the building, they sue the HOA, it goes into a lawsuit. When you only put down 20% down for a condo and that long form comes from the lender and the HOA fills it out because they have to be honest and all these things start coming out, the unfortunate part is a lot of times you won't know until 25 or 30 days into the contract because it's a 30 day finance contingency. So usually our standard for the state of Florida is 30 days finance contingency. That means 30 days for your lender to get their act together. Unfortunately, being South Florida, not all of them work as fast as some others. That's another reason that I like local lenders versus national. I'm not saying you can't use Bank of America. I'm saying that if you use a local bank and a local lender, a local mortgage broker who's done deals in Miami, in Kendall, in Fort Lauderdale, wherever you're looking to do your loan, in that area, you're better off because they know what all the local issues are they have to deal with. And they also already know about the HOAs and how the bank's gonna respond. So that's why we always say put down minimum 30. 30, yes. three, zero. Yes, or 35 of it's on this thing. <laughs> But as a buyer, the advice that I can give you is talk to your agent, understand the area, talk to your mortgage broker in advance. And you can always ask these questions. You can ask about the percentage required by the bank for percentage of owners versus renters. You can ask if there's any pending litigation. You can go directly to the condo association and ask these things, right? And on top of that, it's important to know about the reserves. So if the building has no reserves and these things are working against you and you don't have that 30%, at minimum 25%, you're probably going to have a really hard time closing that loan. And you should be working with a different realtor who's armed with this knowledge and understands how to get past this and potentially a different mortgage broker as well. Knowledge is everything, guys. Knowledge is everything. <laughs> you want to show us the view here before we say goodbye to our of friends? Of course I do. This is my favorite part of this unit. It's beautiful, yeah. beautiful view. So now that we've given them some really good advice, now we have to get into decorator tips. You ready? Oh, man. okay. <laughs> Let's go for it. We love water views. It's Miami lifestyle. You have so much space to put here. Maybe a nice little patio furniture. Sit down, relax, enjoy your morning coffee when the sun rises. Uh, what do you think about that? I think I'm going to drink my wine and you can have your coffee. Oh, okay. Wait, are we oh. talking about Saturdays? <laughs> Rose well, all day. I was talking about sunrise in the morning. Oh, I was talking about I was talking about the weekend. Well, you see, yeah, you can do both. There we go. All right, all right, guys. So this is Nick and Ashley here with Tiger Team. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>